All right, next is from Lisa Smith. What's your opinion on going to garage sales before the start time? I went to a neighborhood garage sale Saturday. They said people started showing up an hour early. It's Monday morning and I have a dozen eBay orders to ship out. Let's get to work. First order's right here. I went ahead and pulled these from my storage unit. It is four die-cast cars. The four sold for $59.96 plus shipping. Next is this Sony Reel to Reel. I got this maybe three or four months ago. It was part of a bulk buy, so I didn't have much into it. Um, I had to sell it as is. It seemed to like kind of work, uh, but I just decided to sell it as is for parts. I had it listed for like 50 year best offer. Somebody sent an offer of $34 plus shipping and I accepted. All right, next is over here in B3. This is a Ralph Lauren teddy bear I got at a garage sale last week and I paid $3. It sold for $17.99 plus shipping. That's going out to a viewer named Colby and he sent a note with a message. Hey John, love the videos. Thank you for all the entertainment. Hope you and the family are well. I'm getting the spare from my mom who has a teddy bear collection so I think she'll enjoy it. Thanks again. Take care. Colby, thank you for the support and I hope your mom loves that bear. Actually a couple other things are pulling out of that bin. All these two weirdo models that I got at a garage sale. I paid $2 each for them. This one sold for $9.99 plus shipping, and that one sold for $8.99 plus shipping. Same buyer bought them both, so I will combine them in one box and refund them the difference. And those are going out to viewer named Justin. Justin, thank you for the business, man. I really appreciate it. Okay, next thing is a bowling ball over here. This has a soccer ball design, and I bought it because it was unique and different, and I thought it would do well. I think I had it listed for like, I don't know, 30 or 40 or best offer for the longest time. I wasn't getting any hits. Um, Finally, somebody sent me an offer of $10 plus shipping, so I just went ahead and took it. All right, next is over here in D3. This is a vintage Panasonic Pana Braider Massager. Got this at a dollar for garage sale, and even after I bought it, I'm thinking, why did I buy this? I didn't look up the prices or anything, but when I got back to the warehouse, I looked it up, and it was actually selling pretty well. Uh, this one sold for $34.99 plus shipping. All right, next thing is down here in C5. This is a King Griffey Jr. model. I can't remember if it was that one or that one. Let me take a look real quick. Okay, it looks like it was this one right here. This is part of that big lot of King Griffey Jr. stuff I got at a garage sale for 50 bucks. Uh, this piece sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Let's go on out to viewer named Curtis, and he says, Love the channel. I can't wait for baseball to finally come back. Ready to see all these young Mariners. I can't wait for baseball to come back either, and I've heard that the Mariners farm system is loaded, so you guys should have a bright future. All right, next order has two lots going out. First is an A3. These are vintage German Western magazines. And the other lot is the same thing, just in a different bin. They are in F3. I pulled these out of the storage units that I bought. And it was kind of hard to find comps, to be honest. So I just threw them on there to see what would happen. Uh, yeah, I listed each one for $49.99 plus shipping. And a viewer reached out and offered... $49.99 plus shipping for both. And I said, that's cool. Let's go ahead and do it. Those are going out to viewer named Jonathan. Jonathan, thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. All right, next is an E4. This is a Kevin Harvick diecast car. I've got $5 into this. It sold for $14.99 plus shipping. All right, next is a bobblehead down here in D6, Tony Perez. I got two of these at a garage sale and I bundled them with something else. So I think I might have three or four dollars into each one. The other one I put in my antique booth and this one I listed on eBay. It sold for $11.99 plus shipping. All right, last order we are pulling is this Manfrotto tripod. It has a pretty good head on it too. Uh, the 804 RC2 model. I got this at a garage sale for $20 maybe five or six weeks ago and it just sold for $119.99. Plus shipping. If you guys are out and about and you see tripods, take a look at them. The Manfrotto brand is pretty high end. I've sold a number of these for some really good money. It's Tuesday morning. I have some eBay orders to ship out, but first I'm going to answer some viewer questions. First is from Daniel. He asks, I was wondering if you could give me an idea as to how you set up your white background for your picture. I want to make sure I have quality pictures and the white background obviously helps with that. Any tips or info would be greatly appreciated. All right, so I've got my photo set up right here behind me. Mine isn't super professional, but it gets the job done and the pictures turn out to be pretty good. So this is a uh, vinyl sheet, kind of just like a drop cloth, I guess. Um, you can get these online and this one is double sided and it cleans up pretty well. So when it gets dirty like this, I just kind of spray it real good 
and wipe it down and then it ends up cleaning up pretty nicely um these usually last me at least a year sometimes two years because i can just you know flip it over the other side when the side gets too dirty uh as far as the back i just have a white wall and it's kind of scuffed up and stuff i should probably go ahead and paint this i've got two led lights i got these on ebay maybe like three years ago and unfortunately they've stopped making them um so i've had a number of people ask me about these but they they're all out of stock um but if i mean any kind of like led panel light should do the job i used to have ones that were on the floor and i just really didn't like them you guys might have noticed recently that ebay has started to crop your photos so when you take a picture in the ebay app and it might also be on the website i don't know but they automatically crop it and they crop out the back of it and uh, it gives you this you know nice picture that looks like it's just a total white background and it seems to work about half the time to where it makes your picture look better. So that's kind of helping people out that don't have, you know, a serious photo setup. Um, I think lighting is probably the most important thing. Um, just to have some kind of basic white background and then have really good lighting coming, you know, from both directions will do the job. All right, next is from Frederick Nault. He asks, when you decide to do make an offer or buy it now on your items? So as a general rule of thumb, every item I list, I like to not do buy it now for the first month just to see if, you know, there's a buyer out there that can pay, will pay up, you know, for the price that I want. Um, then over time, as things sit there, sometimes I'll turn on best offers or I'll lower the price a little bit. But sometimes if an item is just like strange and odd and I can tell there's not that much of a market for it, I'll just turn on buy or uh, best offer right from the start uh, because I'm trying to make a sale. I don't want to sit on this stuff forever. So a lot of people don't believe in best offers. They just leave the price and sit it. And that's a perfectly good model too. I tend to like to flip things pretty quick. I think, <laughs> I think my average item might sit in my store for two to three months at the most before I sell it. Obviously there's other long tail items like yearbooks and stuff where like if you change the price or you turn on, best offer it probably won't make it sell any faster so i think it's just a case-by-case -case basis if you have a product that you know is in demand and it's going to sell for a good price don't bother doing make offer you know what i mean video games for example i don't think i've ever had to do make offer on a video game because they just sell really quick all right next is from cole this isn't a question but i wanted to read it anyways hey john my Ma is a very big fan of the show every time she comes over she says let's watch the pickers please thank you so much for making her happy every time she comes over can you please Please give a shout out to Dorothy. I will gladly give a shout out. Dorothy, thank you so much for watching the videos. I really appreciate it. I'm glad you like them. All right, next is from Lisa Smith. What's your opinion on going to garage sales before the start time? I went to a neighborhood garage sale Saturday. They said people started showing up an hour early. I do tend to get to sales early. I'm, I don't go an hour early. 30 minutes is about as early as I'll get there. And I just tread lightly when i'm early so as soon as i make eye contact or i you know the person sees me right away i'm saying am i too early you know just to give them that option of like yes go away come back i'd say nine times out of ten people are like no you're not too early like just come on you know we're, we want people to buy our stuff but every once in a while somebody will just say yeah could you come back and that's not a problem you know i'm trying to respect people's boundaries and i'm you know i'm the early bird and if a sale even says in the ad no early birds i make sure that i don't get to that sale early Next is from Fernando Alvarez. What packaging box do you use when you sell baseball bats? That is a good question. So here's the box I use. It is a priority mail medium mailing tube. Uh, I'm lucky my post office actually carries these in stock, but most of them don't. You can get these for free on USPS.com. I think they come in packs of 10 or packs of 25, and they are 36 inches by 6 inches by six inches by six inches. And you gotta be careful when you use these because one side says Priority Mail Express. So when you fold them in like this, you gotta make sure the outside is just showing Priority Mail and not Priority Mail Express. But any bat will fit in here because the longest bats you're gonna find are gonna be about 34 inches. So I just wrap the bat in some bubble wrap and stick it in here and tape it up real good. I also ship certain golf clubs in those boxes. Uh, putters will usually fit in that box. Uh, wedges, certain irons will fit in that box, like a, a shorter iron, like an eight or a nine or something like that. But if you're shipping longer clubs, like a set of irons or a driver, you gotta get a pretty long box, like, you know, 45 inches, something like that. All right, it's time to ship some eBay orders. 
All right, first thing was in my storage unit over there, and I went ahead and just pulled it. This is a Cincinnati Reds t-shirt, new with the tags, that sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Next is down here, D5. It's a pair of shoes. I've had these for quite some time. Uh, I think it's been like nine months or so. I got them as part of a bulk buy, so I don't have much into them. Uh, they're Polo, Ralph Lauren. I had these listed for like 20 or best offer. Somebody sent me best offer of $13.50 plus shipping, and I accepted all right, next is a bumper sticker. I think it's hiding back here. I'm into these for about a penny each, and I have sold a ton of them. This sold for $9.99, free shipping. All right, last thing's here in C2. You guys saw me pick these up at a garage sale. They are Carhartt bib overalls. The lady said they were new and she never used them, but there wasn't a tag, so I decided to just sell them as used. I paid 10 bucks for them. They sold for $44.99 plus shipping. I'm at my antique mall today. I've been coming here once a week, just trying to straighten up a little bit, replenish the inventory, because I'm actually selling a pretty good amount of stuff. And I'll show you guys what I brought in here today. Most of this I just picked up last weekend at some garage sales. I got these two windows. Um, I think I paid eight for the pair. Um, I got this little hook piece. I paid five for that. These wheels I paid $4 a piece. These old wood crates I paid three dollars a piece, and a whole bunch of records. I got these in a bulk lot maybe two weeks ago, so I've got all these priced up and ready to go. The records have been selling really well. It seems like I'm selling two or three records a day. A bunch of you guys have stopped by my booth since I've last been here, and you've signed my guest book. I want to give a special shout out to Mike, Casey. Braden, Patrick and Karen, Corey, Israel, Miranda, Kaylin, Alan, Kinley, Dylan, Aaron, Jessica, Brennan, Nolan, and Jackson. Thank you guys all so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Before I end this video, I've got some viewer mail that I'd like to open. Okay, first is from Jordan. Oh man, there's a bunch of stuff in here. There's an old Reds mug, official training mug. That's pretty cool. Oh my gosh, this is... That is so cool. Like a little, almost looks like a scarecrow kind of. That is neat. Here's a pennant. Another pennant. Here's an old button. And he sent a note with it. John, thank you so much for all your content you post. My husband and I are resellers in Frankfurt, Ohio, and enjoy picking when we are teaching. Your YouTube channel has been very helpful in our reselling journey. I've had these items listed for a while and thought you might appreciate them. Thanks again for all you do, Alex and Jordan. Guys, thank you so much. I really appreciate that stuff. All right, next is from my buddy Kevin over at the Commonwealth Picker channel. What is this? Oh, no way. It's a little Cincinnati Reds car. That is cool. What year is this from? It was made by Corgi. Doesn't say the year though. Gotta be 90s though, I think. John saw this corgi and knew it belonged with you or your little one. Commonwealth picker. Thanks, man. And he sent a sticker too. I don't know if I have a Commonwealth sticker yet, so I'm gonna put that on the wall. I watch Kevin's videos all the time. His channel is by far one of my favorites. Uh, so if you guys like my channel, you see me go to garage sales and sell stuff, I think you'll like his channel too. So I'll put a link down in the description below if you wanna check it out. Okay, last but not least, this is from Alex. John, huge fan of your channel. I've always been a reseller, but you inspired me to open an eBay store. I've had some great success with it, and your content has played a huge part in that. I found this piece at a sale in Springboro today and thought you might enjoy it. Thanks for everything, Alex, Jim City Picker. And he sent a business card. Jim City Picker. All right, let's see what this is. You bubble wrapped it really well, Alex. Oh, no way. <laughs> How cool is that? Is that an English Bulldog? Oh, that is fantastic. Alex, thank you so much, man. And if you guys want to check out Alex's eBay store, I'll put a link down in the description below. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.